Welcome, uh, friends, to National Treasures Interviews, the interview series of the podcast National Treasures, hosted by myself, Will Duggan, and Laura Lex, in which we go on lovely days out. We did our first series before Corona, but that has been put paid to now because of Corona, so we have decided to bring interesting days to you. We sort of doing lectures, sort of a TED talk. We kind of like that lecturer you've got at university that you know smokes weed, <laughs> apart from we are quite staunchly anti-drug because my mother watches these. <laughs> yes. Um, hi, Will. You've had an exciting day, haven't you? What have you been up to? Well, Laura, I have had a great day today. I've taken my first steps into a wider world and I got my uh, COVID vaccine today. Hey, that's very, um, first one or second one? First one. So I was a bit nervous. I'm not good now, with needles. Is this because you're asthmatic and therefore weak? or uh, because you are working on the front line doing COVID tests? Why, do, yeah. what was your reasoning? Has but, anybody but bombed on you when you stuck it down their throat? No, um, not at work. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's already smut. I love it when the first smut isn't my fault though. <laughs> um, well, I'm How are very you, glad. I'm all right. I have done nothing as exciting as you. I unclogged a sink today. Um, I made a cheesecake. Um, Tell us about your cheesecake, because you told well, us and I want everyone to know this. Yeah, I've made a cheesecake that is 930 calories a slice. <laughs> Isn't that disgusting? And I know that's terrible, but I'm not going to... Well, that's a th I'm going to try and drop it off. That's COVID safe, isn't it? To just drop it off at a friend's house and leave it on the doorstep as long as you don't go near each other, I think. Um, I'm going to introduce our guests to you today. Now, today we are talking about probably one of the most beautiful parts of the country, I think. We are talking about Durham. Um, mm -hmm. And now it's a city that I know to be absolutely beautiful, but I don't know a lot about the surrounding area. So here to tell us more are two super fans of a site in the Durham area. We are welcoming Mary and Tim Fowler. Hello. 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 Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello wow. from hello from Tut North. Tut North. <laughs> I loved I love Durham. So oh. you live outside of Durham, do you, or in Durham? Just outside. Nice. Yeah. 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 A Absolutely small village beautiful. called Bear Park. Um, where are you telling us about today, Mary and Tim? We're telling you about also um sorry, I've said also now, Usher Historic House and Gardens, which was formerly known as Usher College. And it was a seminary for trainee priests in its past. Yeah. Secret agent priests. Yeah. They were really, really cool. Yeah. They, they were like Sorry. the boss. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, I've done a bit of background research today because I had time, but Will did not. <laughs> so Secret you're agent missing out, priests. Will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you explain the background on secret agent priests to Will, please? He looks fascinated and terrified in equal measure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So these guys, these priests were, um, the college was initially established in France when uh, Queen Elizabeth I mm -hmm. was hunting down Catholics and basically, you know, barbecuing them. Um, so these guys went over to France, established a seminary to train priests who were then smuggled into England to hide in priesty hidey holes and come out and say mass and then go back into the hole. And now 100 of these poor guys were caught and charged with treason and hung, drawn and quartered. Yeah, so, but you can hang one priest five more will appear that's, that's the mantra the <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's where that's the history of this college yeah so they spent um a couple of hundred years in yeah. france well flanders actually which is now belgium and uh when france and england fell out and Catholicism became I love acceptable that as a again. Phrase, fell out. Well, that you is know, coming down it happens. Yeah. <laughs> They've had a tiff. <laughs> like yeah. teenage girls at high yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, flappy oh, fight. England and France yeah. aren't talking yeah. again. Yeah, all that. So when when it became safe to be Catholic again here, and not so safe to be English in French territory, 
the college moved over to England and was established here in, in Durham. In 1790-odd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So did the college have to pretend to be anything else while... Or not at that time. No. no. no okay. not, not in England. Got you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it didn't it didn't kind of set up here until just after um, mm -hmm. Catholicism was a hiding hole yeah. business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, once it was safe um, for them to establish here in England, that's when Usher College was established. Mm -hmm. right. When you say a hidey hole. Yeah. Because, so I, I um, had never been, I went to Anne Frank's house for the first time a couple of years ago. And you know, they're all living in the loft. Mm -hmm. Then I, I went into the loft and was like, oh, this is, I mean, I don't think she had a nice time, but I'm saying it was a lot, it was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So, no, but, but in this, in this time, they literally, they had things called priest holes, which were like little, like um, panels would open in the walls. Yeah. So yeah. that if you got raided, they'd get in there. I don't think they were like living quarters all the time that they uh, were more like the mm -hmm. priest hunters are here, get the thing and, and then come back out. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. Priest, but you'd have like all... Sorry. Priest holes are one of those things you've got to Google really carefully as well. So. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> but you did have, like, in some places, you would have, like, little secret passageways to chapels, wouldn't you? And then yeah. all the Catholic stuff would be hidden and it would look like a C of E um, chapel yeah. until the yeah, yeah. Like, police had gone. You, you'd hide your Virgin Mary. You wouldn't get her out. Yeah. <laughs> There's one in Another the West thing Midlands. You've got to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a cool National Trust house somewhere, like I think it's southeast of Birmingham, like near the Redditchy area. It's Telford Lodge. Mm. Is it the little, um, yeah. like white and black, like Tudory little cottage, and it's got an amazing priest hole, and they explain how you went down like. I think it was like under the hearth or something and then you yeah escape like right out it's really cool yeah 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 they they, they were awesome <laughs> really they, they were quite intrepid <laughs> so do you you live near usher is that how i'm pronouncing it yeah usher, you are, yeah, usher, usher. yeah yeah uh mm -hmm. yes we're, we're about oh not just under a mile down the road from it so mm -hmm. you know it's a two minute drive Nice. Uh, up the road and yeah it's it, we, we're kind of right on the edge of where durham becomes country sort of countryside <laughs> um mm -hmm. what 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 a stage is like to call semi-rural mm. which i think just means you haven't got a shop <laughs> yeah but, you, know. <laughs> you have to drive yeah. to get milk but there's nobody yeah. annoying too yeah. close that kind yeah, of yeah yeah all right fair enough apart from us yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're quite spoilt for choice in terms of history that you can go and feast on what is it about usher that makes you go back there so often um it's really peaceful um it's got these amazing gardens and grounds um which is the only bit we can access at present and it's got all these wonderful trees so it's mostly woodland with a rose garden a formal rose garden mm. in the center and, and you can walk down the woodland paths. The only sound you can hear is the birds and the occasional chiming of the clock. The sheep bleating in the fields. Yeah, yeah, it's very musical. You can walk around and think. It's one of the rare places where you have space to think without the intrusion of all kinds of jingle, jangle, uh, chit-chat nonsense, you know. I, I love it. You know, I go there, I, I walk around. Tim uh, can't quite access most of it because he's a wheelchair user. Some of it is accessible, but not all of it. But I, so, I, but yeah, I am... Tim, a I am a connoisseur of views out of screens and, and <laughs> Usher has some particularly fine ones, I have to say. How so. does the car park work? Can you get to a point where you can see the buildings from the car? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wicked. Because I've done some, like, obviously, just some preliminary research. I didn't do too much. But that was one of my questions, actually, because we'll put some pictures up with this mm. episode. But basically, you've got the the house that's Georgian-y looking, isn't it? It looks like Bath in my head. Mm. And then mm. you've got the chapel, which is Gothic. And it's yeah. like, 
it's almost like a, a, an architecture lesson looking at these two buildings. <laughs> so I wanted to know which one you prefer. Do you go for the like neat, amazing sort of stature of the Georgianness, or do you go for the gothic y cool like whoa ness of the chapel? Which is your favorite? Go on, Tim. Well, I'm 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 a bit of a goth and I'm not German, so I'm <laughs> I'm going for the gothic one. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Um, the I mean, it's designed way. by the same man who designed Big Ben. Oh, yeah. Okay, Again, you careful can see that googling, but you know. Um... <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about uh, the gothicness that you like? Then what? What draws you? I to think that? it's also unnecessarily splendid. Yeah, it's totally, it's that's... it's it is literally with brass knobs on sometimes. <laughs> you know, what would make this look better? I know. Let's put a brass knob on it, and usually they're right. And so I, it's intricate and it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's visually rich. I was saying, Mary, that one of your um, favourite things to do is to obviously have a walk around because it's, mm. as Tim said, semi-rural. Mm. Um, I had a quick Google while, while Laura was talking and the grounds look really? incredible. Like the flowers <laughs> look they're really yeah. incredible. So as you go there so often, you would have been at all times of year. Yeah. What's the best season? in your opinion, to go and Ooh. see the gardens? Oh, good question. Um, to see the, the flower displays and the rose garden, obviously summer. Yeah. yeah. And to get the sense of the garden. You're walking around, you can smell it, you're bombarded by colour. Uh, it's the sensory riot, which is gorgeous. I'm a dendrophile, OK? And That's now? not rude. I love trees. <laughs> yeah, I am a tree hugger. I'm out there. <laughs> <laughs> so sue me. Because it's yeah. probably time to, to <laughs> ask you about, um, in your email where mm. we were saying, oh, would you like to come on a podcast? And you said yes. Mm. You said Tim sits in the car and likes to look at the world through the windscreen. Mm. And you like to do what to trees? Okay, I hook them. I hook them. <laughs> I talk to them. I... <laughs> Right. <laughs> Tim's face is priceless through this. <laughs> Tim, Tim, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't do it when I've got the teenage kids with me. <laughs> because I'd be on TikTok, wouldn't I? But um the trees are like quite spiritual. Okay? Yeah. I'm I, are we buying this? Tolkien, the Ents. I I swear I'm an Ent wife. Okay. So the trees I like to think maybe the spirits of some of the priests that train there, okay, and have come but, back. It's a flight of fancy. Indulge me. Now do you understand why I sit in the car? <laughs> <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't need a wheelchair. He's sick of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. No, no, there is something really relaxing and calm yes. about it. I sang carols, Christmas carols to the trees. See, I keep, I swear I keep they being like it. with you up to a point and then you mm. carry on talking and I think, no, I'm out again. <laughs> uh, spiritual, <laughs> yes. Love a tree, yes. Mm -hmm. Could even sort of get my head round hugging it because it would feel all strong mm. and connected to the earth. And then you, then it's a dead, a dead priest <laughs> that wants to listen to carols and I'm like, no, 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 no. 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 I'm a writer, Laura. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to write this kind of magical realism. I'm going to it's, read it's it. It's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to read it. I'm excited to read it. Okay. I'm going to respect your opinions and make no comment. <laughs> Thank you. It's I a wise man. I find that's the best way, I'll be honest. <laughs> Hello, it's your weekly interruption of Us by Us. Um, just to say thank you to our newest patrons. Thanks for joining the club, dudes. We've got two new patrons and we want to thank you. Laura, who have we got? We have got Catherine R and my brother, Cameron Pearson. Pearson. Cameron Pearson. Oh, yeah. Ron Pearson, Cameron Pearson. Thanks. Thanks, Catherine R and Ron. Thank you for joining us on Patreon. Your welcome packages are in the post or in the case of my brother, I'll just give it to you and I see you, shall I, bud? Like, it seems weird to post it to you. You live around the corner. I know where you live also, Ron. So if Laura's busy, I might just come to your house. Yeah. We hope you're enjoying years and years. Catherine, we, we, new... we, we don't know where you live, Catherine. We're not coming to your house. Don't worry about that. 
Well, I do know where she lives because I've posted it, but we won't come round, don't worry. Uh, we promise not to come round. If you would like a badge and a signed photo and access to all of the extras that we put on our Patreon, like a new podcast every other week and extra bits on these videos every single week, then please sign up at patreon.com forward slash national treasures. Very, very good. Uh, Laura, just while you're on a roll, what are on other social stuff? At Treasures Pod for Instagram and Twitter, National Treasures is the YouTube, and the email is National Treasures Podcast at gmail.com. So good. Let's cut it there. Back to the interview. So, with, with um, Usher College, is it the sort of place that was all built in one go, or is it the sort of place that's been added to a lot over time? No, it's been built in, in several goes and is now in parts falling down it's at, at different rates yeah. as well because mm -hmm. there is one quite large bit of it that they can't really afford to keep up at the moment mm -hmm. uh what was the former junior college um the sort of the school bit of it, it had a brief school uh, i mean you can kind of imagine it i mean it, it, it's it's like hogwarts but you replace the wands with crucifixes yeah it's less fun and, and it, it, it's that that's the kind of feel about it so yeah i mean it, it is it's got modern bits it's got very old bits it's i mean it's 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 got its story written in its architecture mm. which is one of the things that's i really nice. like about it as well so how it's long not did it... oh sorry carry on that it's not just old it's old and new because it was still operating as a seminary until 2011 what that's what i was going to ask so they were still training priests until 2011 yeah yeah crikey and and then the, the numbers of basically british people wanting to be priests just dipped away very quickly and well there's very little family tradition isn't there like if, if you're a priest <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you, you were just saying tim it's it, it's big and it, it seems massive and uh, there's a bit on the internet that says that it's the same size as three disneylands so would, would it be honest would it be better if you had just like one disneyland oh there? tim tim's never been to disneyland no, sorry i'm just I'm it's just like it's like we can get over the idea of, of three disneylands it's Dear like God. harry potter um, but you replace the ones with hot dogs yeah <laughs> <laughs> um let's have a think about that tim no <laughs> No, no, no. My concern no. would be that Donald Trump would buy it, mm. okay, and then spray it with gold paint and make a golf course in the grounds. I don't and... think federal prisoners can buy uh, real estate. No, no, no. Well, no. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the grounds are amazing they sound good i i think i'd enjoy the grounds too i like a tree place and i like yeah a rose garden is always mm. good what about inside what sort of rooms are we talking about what's what what's the route through are the what's the best room where should people head well obviously we can only kind of press our windows against the glass at the we'll moment press our nose but, against yeah. the yeah. window yeah. Yeah. yeah but in the when everything's open again um You've got you've a fondness for the uh, professor's parlor. parlor. Professor's yeah. parlor. Yeah, Tim's is... Tim's got some good anecdotes well, about well, time spent so, in the professor's parlor. So I I was a student at Durham who never left, and um, in my second year I was on the executive in my college, and we got invited up to a dinner at Usher, which at that point was still an operating seminary, and it was it was an interesting evening involving apparently magically refilling wine glasses rooms are beautiful and um, walking down the corridors there's a courtyard in the center which is open and that's a beautiful peaceful place i think i get you're going to get the vibe here i don't like people i do okay. that's fine we aren't it's, keen yeah <laughs> um the chapels for me the chapels the main chapel and then there are two smaller side rooms which smell of incense mm. and if you like incense that's great yeah and it, they're quiet they're all stone you can sit you can have a think it's preceded by the one in do i do i yes. yeah have you have you ever been there no i haven't i haven't mm -hmm. you think that building is still up i doubt it 
I, I suspect it was probably raised to the ground when the English were chased down. I mean, it is now, as we said, um, Belgium. Mm. So who knows? I mean, certainly quite hard to find anything out about it. I tried to do a bit of research, wasn't finding anything. Mm. Um, possibly not praying to the right person. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> have, you tried, have you tried Jesus? <laughs> I've heard pretty of him. Big, pretty yeah, big in Catholicism, yeah. Jesus. No, I no, listen, no, I, no, I it, don't have a hotline. I didn't listen to this sort of podcast, wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, we I, know we, a lot I, about religion. We know all the main characters. It's a game on the website. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems to be only played by people at Usher College. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a very big... World Series, Eaton Fives, Wall, a Winchester <laughs> kind of vibe. What is cat? Um. So there's a big ball of wool. And <laughs> no. Um, is this it, a game it, that Mary's made up to play with the trees? Because it <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah, pretty much. And there's a little tray, she, 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 and she, we run around chasing dreams. Yeah, she goes up to trees and she scratches them <laughs> to sharpen her nails. And um, no, I think, I mean, it's it's one of these odd games that English public school boys made up with a ball and a strange shaped bit of wall mm. and and then didn't tell anyone else the rules mm. and deny their elitist you know it, 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 it so it's a bit like five so you throw a ball against a wall and it comes back in odd ways and then someone else catches it and then throws it and it's only played at Usher and there is a there's this bit of wall that kind of looks like it, they put it together from old bits of RSC set, hmm. uh, which has these different courts mm. on, on it. I, it's, I, I recommend that anyone goes and, and Googles the pitch because I'm already describing it very badly. But, do, um, so, play it. do the people of Usher let you play it there? Never seen it being played. No, no. 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 I think they should set up a little fake wall that you can play it on. Yeah. So you can... yeah. yeah. I think that, that there is a Durham University Fives team course there is and uh they, there's a quidditch team that they, they have come up there is a quidditch team that they, they, they have come up and played fives on the cat wall but you know the uh, but other than that i think it's a shame i think it's a shame you know i think we're we've, we're always very good at inventing weird sports I, I i personally have a big issue with the private school sports i had a i had a friend that went to winchester college and i went mm. there once to see we were university together and we played wall, which is their version of it. But my, my least favourite one is, uh, is is rugby, uh, rugby, the whole, and I've got nothing against the game of rugby, but when they go, oh, William Webb Ellis picked up the ball and ran. Like, if I'd done that in a PE lesson at my school, <laughs> they wouldn't have gone, oh, it's all right, Duggan's just got a new sport. They'd have gone, <laughs> put, put the ball down, was stop being an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I, Mary, I think someone didn't get into the polo team at university. <laughs> someone didn't get into the polo team at university, but someone also is allergic to horses, so it's fine with that. Uh, uh, someone also didn't polo. get into the <laughs> university. Um, okay, well, I think we've grilled you guys enough. Do you have some questions for me to get right and beat Will at? All right, I've got a question. Okay. About if you've done your research, doesn't matter if you didn't. There's a special kind of ice cream sold in the Bounds Cafe. Do you know what it is? <laughs> That'll get edited, probably. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, okay. <laughs> is it... Um, what was the question? About the special <laughs> ice cream being sold in the cafe. A special What's the flavour? Well, it's a special kind of ice cream. It is, is it... It's made out of oat milk. Nah, that's very millennial. <laughs> is it um? Is it like honey from bees on the Usher site? That would be so cool. But they're not getting there, are they? No, no. Wait, no. wait, 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 wait. One more I'll guess. Is it fictional? There is no ice cream. Oh no, 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 no! Is it incense flavour? <laughs> <laughs> Is it rose petal flavour? Oh, no. Again, would all be lovely. Do you want to put them out of their problem and misery then? Doggy ice cream. I'm sorry. <laughs> For your little, little four-pawed friends. And this is a question with some genuine historical interest. I'm sorry if that's not quite what you were looking for. No, um, is. What is the connection between Usher 
and the inauguration of President Biden. Uh, I got it. Go on. Usher was a seminary up to mm. 2011. Mm -hmm. Biden absolutely loves Catholicism. Yeah. So maybe the Bible he swore on was written at Usher. Oh, I was going to say. It's, it's genius. It's, it's, you're nearly there. It was the original Bible from Do I. Mm -hmm. I'm having uh, it. I'm having yeah, that, Laura. You can I'm have that. that, Will. Yeah. Which, yeah. which, yeah. which JFK yeah. also was inaugurated with. Ooh, mm -hmm. They love European love history that. over there, don't yeah, they? Yeah. Yeah. I knew the Catholic boy would get that. Yeah. yeah. Good answer, but, uh, yeah, Will. Biden's, Biden's only the second Catholic to be to be president. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Nominate Mormon. Patrick Feely Spiritus Duggan. Another one. How are the books in the library protected? Um, there's a man in front of them and you have to fight him to read them. Apart from that, Apart from that. Okay, Tim's like... a librarian, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> yeah, all right, we have to fight Tim and yeah. the car that he's in. <laughs> we'll mow you down. In his little jazz, his little Honda jazz. Beep, beep. Hybrid Honda jazz. Hybrid, yeah. Hybrid, yeah. <laughs> I don't care how shit the car is. I don't feel like I could fight it. Yeah, <laughs> don't yeah. back myself against a micro, let alone it, 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 I'm yeah. definitely up to mowing. So yeah. How I reckon you could be the fuck out of a car, Laura. Hey. <laughs> I wouldn't turn you on, Laura. No, I am scrappy, but yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not brute strength. I think if I could get the surprise on something, I've got a hmm. chance. But just Lex isn't short for Lexus, then. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a transformer. <laughs> Transflora Lexus. Nice. That would be the most middle class transformer ever. <laughs> yeah. Transform into a luxury family car. Well, it's not going to be laminated, is it? That's boring. No. Um, protected from, from what? From Can being we stolen. What... Okay, from being stolen. Mm -hmm. um, are they written in invisible ink so they're useless oh. to oh. anyone? Some of them are written in Latin so they're useless to, to <laughs> everyone. <laughs> so um, is the guy with the Latin O level. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> they might have that UV. No. They um, might. Yeah, yeah, they they, yeah, yeah, you're thinking a bit high tech here, I think. You need to. Are they you know. locked away? You're, you're, you're getting warmer, <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, like in glass cabinets? No. Think think on the locking thing. We're going to have to tell you this is probably getting very editable at the moment. <laughs> mm. Go um, on, Tim. Uh, they are, some of the more valuable books are chained to the shelves. Yeah. What books are so valuable that they can't it be. tends to be the very old ones uh, biden's bible but something like biden's mm -hmm. bible and they have as you would imagine a bible or two uh in 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 the library and, and be... lots of books that came from do i which was founded in 1580 if people were unaware of usher and wanted to be able to get a frame of reference what mm. would you describe it as? For example, if you're talking about the Jacobean Rebellion in the Highlands, you could mention Outlander. If you're talking about Henry VIII, you could say Hampton Court, mm. and Wolf Hall. What would um, what would this be? The best frame of reference for the lay preacher. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. The Hogwarts thing yeah. is quite. Hogwarts for priests. Hogwarts for priests. Yeah. You kind yeah. of get get. You know, it had all the, the, the strength, you know, not Quidditch, but Cat. I mean, you can kind of see where Rowling took these sorts of, got these mm. sorts of ideas. Mm. But I think it has that kind of feel about it. It um, feels like it was a really happy place. Mm. Um, it's got that really calm, happy vibe about it. You How know, long if it, would students have been at the seminary for? Oh, 10 years. Oh, more. crikey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a school, so it took in um, boys of about eight 
or nine years of age. That's and then a long kept time them. to learn to be a priest, isn't it? All right. <laughs> so finally, then to wrap up. So you want you want to not persuade everyone to go because it'll ruin what you like about it. No, <laughs> but no. Just the people yes. that you do want to go, the quiet yeah. people with no children. One of the things that, that I should do very well is they have lots of kind of outdoor art and installations, mm. things like that. And actually kids respond to that kind of thing in a really natural yeah. way. Mm. And, and they don't have adult preconceptions about a bit of art in a word. Yeah. And so actually, I think probably it's, it's more suited to children than you might think for that mm. reason. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's not it's, dumbed down to them. No, no, not at all. No, it's it's got the outdoor art stained glass exhibition at the moment. So they've hung stained glass windows in the woods, which wow. are beautiful. And when the sunlight catches them, it's amazing. It yeah. is quite spiritual. Be careful. Like but, Sagrada um, Familia, but outside. That yeah. sounds way yeah, yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's family friendly, <laughs> dog friendly. You can bring your granny. You can bring anyone you want. There's something there that everyone will like. Love Perfect. it. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Mary and Tim Fowler. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Thank um, you for having us. It's been us. great fun. Thank you. Would you like to plug any social medias or stuff for people to find and follow you? We're on Twitter. Uh, I'm at Tim Librarian. And uh, I'm at Mary Gentle Heart. Uh, we write nonsense. <laughs> we write stuff for Rory. We write for Rory uh, which Bremer, is so if you ever hear Rory doing funny stuff, that's ours. Not all Brilliant. of it. Rory writes a lot for himself, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we the write really the funny gag. stuff is ours. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, follow Mary and Tim for nonsense. Thank you so well, much for Rory joining Bremer. us. Yeah, Indeed. Rory. Yeah, good. Yeah, we love him. <laughs> yeah. Bye. There we go. Another episode of the wonderful National Treasures interview series. Will Duggan, should we put Usher on the list? Yeah, definitely, because I'm going to go and sing Usher in Usher. Just over I, and over. I really want the stained glass windows in a wood sounds amazing. Like I'm I'm thinking yeah, of, um, you know, that series, that bit in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, when they like live in the woods and it's all magical. I do. I'm imagining that, but with stained glass and jingle jangle Songs. wind chimes and stuff. That sounds lovely. Let's do that. I also, um, I want to see these chain down books. Of course you do. What, so, what's, that, what's that supposed to mean? I don't know. There's just something. <laughs> I want to see the books that have been tied down. I don't know. There's I'm, just something very you take, about that. I'm going to go to B&Q, buy a little link of chain, <laughs> take your book and tie it down <laughs> just hiding cloth actually amongst the oh, well, oh hello yeah, the oh, priest oh. loved it got it to hand um maybe maybe we could make it into a style thing you should chain all the books on your shelf together uh we can't see it will there's a brick wall I can. I can. <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching uh we have been laura lex and will duggan you can follow us on social media at Treasures Pod on Twitter and Instagram. Or, and if you would like to be interviewed about a place that you're passionate about, you can email us at nationaltreasurespodcast at gmail.com. Fucking yes. Please. Ah! For the first time in a year and a half, I got them all. Well <laughs> done. Oh, I'm uh, so happy. <laughs> thank you so much uh, for watching. Thank you uh, so much, Mary and Tim, for coming on. Thank you, Laura, for being you. And thank Most you, Will. Most importantly, thank you, Mitch. Uh, goodbye.